And so we'll join together straight away um, in, in, in prayer and in Torah and in acts of kindness to the people uh, to, to get us all together and to unite all together in their protection. We know that the, the sages have told us that the world stands on three things. And they are Torah, Tefillah, and Tzedakah. Torah is studying God's Torah, which is effectively the greatest way that any one of us can do anything in this world. Tefillah is prayer. We turn to God and we ask him to protect us. We ask him to take care of us. That is the, the second. And the third, of course, is an act of kindness, whatever that act may be. Sometimes it's an act of financial support for those who are in need. And sometimes it's an act of helping someone with, with, with a task that they need support in. But the main thing is that each of us do what we can to support someone else when they need it. With all of this, with all of the things that are happening now in the world, and especially what's happening in our holy land, we, the nations all look to us and they want to know what they can do. They want to know from us how we are behaving and they want to see from us an example of what we are doing to show the world. This is what a Jew does in a time of stress, in a time of pressure. And unfortunately, we have seen stress and pressure all over our glorious country. And it's a country of kindness. But nevertheless, our fellow brothers and sisters in other areas of our country are also under stress and duress. But at the very same time, like when you crush an olive, the best part of it comes out, the, the most fine oil comes out. When you push a Jew just a little bit, the best part of us comes out. And what comes out when, when you push us? Our unity, our solidarity, our care for another, our devotion to what's really important. And so I think, and I'm joined together with other, with the rabbis in Israel who have called to Jews around the world and all of the diaspora to join together in prayer. And that's what I'd like to do this, this evening with all of us, moments before the holiday of Shavuot. Let's gather together. Let's read some verses of Torah. Let's read some prayers from the from Tehillim, and then we will, um, and then we'll we'll enjoy we'll sing along some songs of of Jewish unity and of Jewish strength together with um, soldiers in Israel on the front lines who are singing these songs as they prepare themselves for what is coming up. So, uh, given that we have a nice group over here, I'd like to ask everybody to join us in um, in reading the verses and the Tehillim that we've prepared. So what we'll do um, on the schedule, we have two Torah verses, two chapters from Tehillim and a prayer for the land of Israel. And so I'm gonna, I'd like to ask um, certain people from our group to read for us. And I'm going to, so I'll, I'll appoint you guys. And if you're uncomfortable, let me know. But what we'll do, I'll ask, um, Robin, if you'll read the first one, it'll be a one-line verse from the Torah. And I'll ask, uh, um, hold on, I'm going to ask uh, Lizzie and your husband, Leo, to read for us the second verse from the Torah, which will it'll be on the screen. Don't worry, it's all going to come up. Then I will ask um, <coughs> Catherine Brochelea if you'll lead us in the first chapter of Tehillim in Hebrew, and then I'll ask uh, Robert if you'll lead us in that first chapter in English. Um, Dr. Greenberg, if you'll lead us in the second chapter in Hebrew, and then Mal, if you can lead us in the second chapter in English, and then uh, Suzanne, if you'll, if you'll lead us in the prayer for the land of Israel. Okay, so here I'm gonna share the screen for everyone to be able to read it. Let's get this going. Yeah, the screen. There. One more. There. Okay. So <coughs> in English and then in Hebrew. And both are on the same line, so it should be quite simple. Torah Tzidah, Lona Moshe, Morasha, Kehilas Yaakov. 
The Torah that Moshe commanded us is the heritage of the congregation of Yaakov. Deuteronomy. Thank you. Okay, and uh, Lizzie and Leo. He's calling on people. Don't worry, you're not. Lizzie and Leo, can you read for us, please, this um, the Hebrew and the English on this page? Wait, I think we are mute. You are mute? No, we can hear you. Can, can you hear me? Yeah. Here, O Israel, is our Lord God is one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, and as we move on, chapter 23 of Tehillim, uh, we're all, I think we're all familiar with this chapter. As we'll see it, it's a, it's a special chapter. It's a chapter in which we read, in, in which we, um, we recognize that wherever we go and however things are, Hashem is taking care of us. God is following after us. God is looking after us. So whoever I ask, please um, read us, join us for the, for the Hebrew end of this chapter. Ms. Mordodot, Hashem, Hashem lo echzar, bina odesha yadbitsene al memnuchot nahaleni, nafshi yashavev yanhaleni, Man, Shemo, um, I, I, I lost my spot. Okay, you are in the third line, in the fourth line. Okay. Shiftecha umushan techa hema yimachamuni ta'aroch lifanai sholchan neged sararai dishanta v'shemen roshi kosi ravaya achto v'chesed yerdefuni kol yimechayai Thank you. And Professor Blumenthal, right? Yes, a song, a song of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He causes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even when I walk in the valley of darkness, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You set a table before me in the presence of my adversaries. You anointed my head with oil, my cup overflows. May only goodness and kindness pursue me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for length of days. And now we'll do chapter 121, again a familiar chapter that we'll all, we are all um, we are all familiar with, and in fact, I think that many find strength in this chapter, because it's a song. It's a song of of um of the of the psalmist, and he says, "Where does my support come from?" I once had a I once had an associate who um who who wrote a letter expressing all of his troubles and all of his tribulations, and he listed it, and he ended quoting the verse that is featured in this chapter. And it says, May Ayin Yavo Ezri. And, um, and uh, the, he, the, per, the rabbi, the sage, who he was looking to for direction, who he sent this letter to, his letter, the, the rabbi responded oh. to him with, and he said, you forgot the second part of the sentence. You wrote, from where will my help come? But you forgot to pay attention to the second half of that sentence. And that sentence is, your help comes from God. So please, uh, Dr. Greenberg, please read for us the first, um, the first, uh, the Hebrew side of the psalm. Fear la malo sa enai el heharim and me ayin yavo ezri. Ezri ni ima adonai ose shamayim ba'aretz. Al yitain la motra glecha, al yanum shomrecha. Hine lo yanum lo yishan, shomer Israel, Adonai shomrecha, night silcha, al yad yeminecha, yo mam hashemesh lo ya keka, be areach balaila, Adonai yishmort says, yishmor chamiko, ra yishmor es nashecha, night short says, so echa, me atavi adolam. Thank you. And um, um, 
Maya Griffin, right? A song for a sense, I shall raise my eyes to the mountains from where will come, where will my help come? My help is from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to falter. Your guardian will not slumber. Behold, the guardian of Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your guardian. The Lord is your sh shadow. He is by your right hand. By day, the sun will not smite you, nor will the moon at night. The Lord will guard you from all evil. He will guard your soul. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in from now and to eternity. Thank you, uh, Robert. And now we continue to a prayer for the land of Israel and for its inhabitants. And I'll ask Mal, if you'll read for us, please, this prayer. May he who is blessed... May he who has blessed our father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, bless the land of Israel, its leaders, and its advisors in the land which he swore unto our fathers to give to us. Put in their hearts the love and the fear of you to uphold it with justice and righteousness, to serve you in truth and with sincerity. May we be worthy in our days to witness the fulfillment of the words of your servants. The prophets, for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Heavenly Father, remember the Israeli defense forces, the guardians of our holy land. Protect them from all distress, anguish, and send blessing and prosperity upon all the work of their hands. Grant peace unto your holy land and everlasting happiness unto all its inhabitants, so that Jacob shall again have peace and tranquility with no one to make him afraid. Spread the tabernacle of your peace over all the dwellers on earth. May this be your will and let us say, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mal. You know, um, one of the, the tenements, one of the things that our nation stands on is the knowledge that and the expectation, the hope and the prayer that soon Mashiach will come. And for us living in the diaspora, it is one thing to pray and to expect and to hope for the coming of Mashiach so that we can return to our land and so that we can fulfill the purpose of our existence and the existence of the entire world. At the same, at the same time, we have brothers and sisters who are protecting our holy land and they're on the front lines. And they stand in a way on our behalf, doing our service and protecting our holy country. And I would like to invite all of us to sing along a song of prayer and a song of hope for the coming of Mashiach together with the, our, our, our young ones on the front lines in the Holy Land. Can you hear? No. No. Okay. No. No. Stay with me. Not at all. We've got to we've got to change the uh, the settings over there. Anyone will know? Anyone remember how to do this? <laughs> <laughs> And another, another one of wait, wait, there's double music coming for me. You know the when um when the when the state of Israel was established. Wait, wait. I'll, I'll speak after I play it. How's that? <laughs> Looks like them.
Looks like it. The noise is still going, huh? A very, very, very nice call personality. Okay, so if the echo's gone, my friends, we've spent time together this afternoon in prayer and in Torah study, we reviewed the two verses, two very central verses from the Torah, both of which tell us how connected we are all together with our people and together with God. And in these moments, right before the holiday, what? We turn to God and we beseech him. God, please protect our brothers and our sisters, the families that are living in the Holy Land, the families that are fulfilling your will and strengthening our land. God, please protect our soldiers, the young ones who stand on the front lines and take care of our family and of our relatives and, our, and of our brothers and sisters, fellow Jews who live in the Holy Land so that they may be able to live in peace and tranquility. And further, we implore of you, God, please bring us the Mashiach so that we don't have to have more of this suffering so that we can be free to do your will and to perform your mitzvahs in good health. At the same time, I want to take a moment um, to, 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 let, let, to bring awareness for all of us as Jewish people in the state of Georgia, Jewish people here in America, we can do more for our brothers and sisters. You ask, what can we do? And I suggest that we can each add in something. If it is to take a, a prayer book and read some prayers, some more prayers, some new prayers every day or every couple of hours. You know, some people we, we have, we've all got 100% access to the news. So we're all refreshing our feed looking, what's happening? Where is, where is it going? What's going on? What's, what's the experience? What, are, what is so-and-so saying? What does the other guy say? If we would refresh our Tehillim feed just as often, we'd be in happier places. And our, and our brethren would also be stronger. And so I think that we can all add in something for, our, for the Jews of the land of Israel and for the Jews of the world. So for the men, there is the, 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 the ultimate mitzvah, a mitzvah which, uh, which has a verse for it. The, the Torah says that the, the nations of the world will see how the name of God is written on the heads of the Jews and they will be afraid. And everyone wants to know, all the commentators have the same question, what is this name of God? And they answer, it is the tefillin, which is on the forehead. And so for the men, we can each, each of us, we can put on our tefillin every day. And when we interact with another Jew, we can encourage them as well to put on tefillin. And if you don't have tefillin, so then ask me. We can, make, we can make an arrangement of some sort. I can help you get them. And the same thing for the woman. There's, there are other mitzvahs. For example, on Friday afternoon or like today, right before the holiday, you can light the candles. If you just take two tea lights and you put them next to each other and you light them up and you say the blessing... You bring a new light into the world which can entirely change the world for the better. And these are things that will, that will gather merit for all of us and to protect our people. And the same, another, another mitzvah in a similar vein which protects a Jew is to have a mezuzah. Putting up a mezuzah on your front door or on all the doors of your home 
protect your home and it brings the presence of God, a new presence, an extra presence of God of supervising and of watching over <laughs> us in a special way. Like it says on the mezuzah, it says the three, a three letter name of God, Shin Dalid Yud, Shaddai, which means the Shomer Daltot Yisrael, the protector of, Jew, of the Jewish doors. We can put up these protections on our doors. How special would that be? And so I, I implore of all of us, do an extra good deed, whether it be in Torah study or in putting on the tefillin or putting up a mezuzah or lighting the Shabbat candles and giving tzedakah, each of these, uh, giving charity, each of these mitzvahs, each of these are opportunities to draw on God's kindness and God's desire to protect us and to connect with all of us. And another special mitzvah, which there is available for uniquely for women, and it's anyone can really do it, but it's a unique mitzvah, which women have an extra special involvement in is uh, on Friday, on Shabbat, we eat challah. And in order to make challah, in order to make a dough, you need to separate a piece of it. It's a bit like when we have something for the world, uh, something enjoyable for ourselves, we take a bit away and we give it to someone who needs it or to a holy place. And so if you'd like to learn how to make challah, if you'd like to in, make challah one day, so please, you can reach out to me and my wife and my wife will happily come and make challah with you. And it's a unique experience, a one of a kind, and it's advisable and it's worth it. And I, don't know, I know that someone here with us is, has a challah meeting scheduled for the coming days. So we look forward to that as well. In the meanwhile, I wish us all to have a happy holiday today, tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday is the holiday of Shavuot. For those of you who need to, do, to say Yizkar, do that on Monday, on Tuesday. Take the Siddur, whichever one you have, find the Yizkar page and read it at home. And, for, and everyone should, can take the opportunity to review the Ten Commandments tomorrow. Take the Siddur, find it inside, and read those verses. And together, with all of our good deeds accumulated, we hope and we pray for a better future for each of us and for all of the people. And at this time, I thank everybody for joining us this evening. And I look forward to seeing each of you in the future. Good Chag Sameach. Good Yom Tov. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you, Rabbi. Good job, Judah. Okay. Good job, everyone.